Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we are talking about starting the brutish of the brutish, the cunning of the cunning, Iron Jaws. These guys are a really popular army for new players as well as experienced players. They are a ton of fun to play with and against. Their aesthetics are awesome. They have a limited model range, but it really suits what the army does very well, and you really don't feel that restricted. Um, it plays exactly how the narrative would say that it plays, and basically, you just buy the whole model range in some varying amounts. It That's going to be the uh, overarching theme here. Uh, that basically everything in this range is good, all of the scrolls are good, they're useful to varying different degrees, and your mileage may vary uh, depending on what you like. So, let's get into it. Battle line options. All of your units that are not heroes are battle line, except the one Underworld's Warband. That doesn't really ever count. Nobody plays those things in Age of Sigmar. Um, Use them for cool unit leaders. That's about it. Uh, Ard boys, they're your hoarder or more horde infantry. Um, they're you know obviously strong on offense. They're definitely a strong offensive piece. They are decently armored, and they're guys that are great at taking objectives, putting pressure on your opponent. Your brutes are your elite bashers. They are lower model count and high damage for what they do and they're also quite durable and then your gore gruntas they are your your cavalry unit they're fast moving they're better on defense than on offense so they're typically used more like uh you know it kind of like an alpha blocker they get out there and pin down your opponent and hold them there more so than they are running across the field and destroying things. But they still do have a decent amount of offensive punch as well. So most lists that I've seen have all three of these in there somewhere, and it's just two varying different amounts depending on what the list actually is and what you're doing, what battalion you're running, etc. Heroes, same deal. They're all good, and they all have their place and role. Uh, your Mega Boss, he has a really strong command ability, and he's a super cool model. Um, he's a little bit slow, but he is definitely useful to get that command ability out there in a way that's more cheap than having him on a Maw Crusher. Um, your War Chanter, he has extremely powerful prayers out of the uh, Battle Tome, and he's good on his own as well without even using the book. So he is a must-include, definitely, uh, I see very frequently armies running two or three war chanters in them. And then the Weird Knob Shaman, he is your uh, basic wizard, you know, every army needs a wizard. He has a pretty good spell lore out of the Battle Tome to be choosing from. He is generally useful, like all wizards are, you probably want to run him in just about every list as well. And then our Monsters! We got a Mega Boss on Maw Crusher or Gordrak the Fist of Gork, who is really just a named Mega Boss on Maw Crusher. Both of them stronger, punchier. They are fast getting across the table. They do a lot of damage. It's what it says on the tin. It is a big destructive monster that also happens to have a really good command ability and uh, is really the basis for a lot of armies. It's sort of the thing that your whole army kind of orbits around when you're actually playing. Uh, my recommendation is to definitely buy one. Um, and I would build Gordrak and just play as either one. Nobody's going to like care if you're running a mega boss that's actually Gordrak. Most people are not going to be able to tell the difference between the way they look. Uh, so, yeah, this is one of those times that I would not just say it's okay to buy the monster, the big centerpiece model that the Maw Crusher is. It is probably something that I would advise that you do right off the bat because they're really strong. They're a lot of fun and they're just big stompy monsters that get out there and kill things, which is exactly what the Iron Jaws want to do. 
So just a quick sample buy list uh, for people that are interested in getting started here. I would suggest two start collecting boxes that's going to get you 30 Ard Boys, six Gore Gruntas, and two uh, War Chanters. I'd say buy two boxes of Brutes. That'll get you 10 Brutes. A Maw Crusher, a Weird Knob Shaman, and a Mega Boss. That comes out to 486 retail and 2,120 points. So that gets you a good basis for starting your army. Um, you know, throw in battalions and all of that, and you have some flexibility on what you can build. Um, what I really advise to people is that they kind of pick a battalion and build their army around that. But this is a good generic getting started uh, for everybody. So really, get the book, pick a battalion, build around that, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different good combinations. Do what you like, and don't forget to scream "wah" at every possible opportunity. Yeah.